You know, ever since my action docudrama, Two Men, One Trail, went vivo online. People are stopping me on the streets, in restaurants, at the airport. And one of the most frequent questions that they ask is, Don Pedro, what is your favorite method of lighting up a campfire or igniting your alcohol stove? I answer that question with three words. Magnesium fire starter. I often hear the retort, but Don Pedro, that sounds complicated, dangerous even. Nix nix, my friends, as I shall demonstrate forthwith. First, let me say that a match will work just fine if it isn't wet. And a butane lighter is nothing to sneeze at if it hasn't run out of fuel. But I'm here to explain that when you're watching your evening meal or morning cup of joe bubbling in a pot over a flame that you have manually created, or enjoying the warmth and glow of a campfire built and combusted with nothing more than flint and steel, I promise that you'll be feeling good about yourself. Fire. I've already added some denatured alcohol to both these stoves. This is a Thai tri fissure from Trail Designs. This is a white box stove. That's neither here nor there. There are dozens on the market. You can also use, besides the denatured alcohol, pure methanol or ethanol. But what I want to do now is show you how easy it is to light these without a match, without a butane lighter. The white box stove has ignited. Now the tight tri fissure. Both are lit. They take uh, 30 seconds to a minute to really flame up and get going. I do want to show you that. So I'll wait here uh, a few seconds. As you can see now, both these stoves are going gangbusters. Two different types of flames, but that's not important. What's important at this point is just add my pot of water. I'll have a cup of hot joe in no time or a hot freeze-dried meal. Same with this stove. It's a little bit different system, but that's about where it would be placed. How easy was that? Now you may be saying to yourself, hey, Don Pedro, the alcohol stove demo was great, but how about the campfire? Well, that's where the magnesium comes in. Magnesium, as you know, is an alkaline earth metal. It has an atomic number of 12. It gets its name from the Greek word magnesium, and it's widely used in pyrotechnic and incendiary devices. It burns at a whopping 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, on the back side of my flint, I have this magnesium rod from which I can scrape and amass a small pile of shavings and filings on any flat surface. For this demonstration, I prefer to use my Maxpedition survival knife, backside of course, so we don't dull the blade. Just hold your magnesium rod down like this and begin to scrape. And once I have enough filings and shavings from my magnesium rod, I can put them in a small pile, like so, and gather some tinder which in my case at this point is going to be some wood shavings from the shop. But you can use dry pine needles, uh, cotton balls, small twigs, even wax paper. But you want to set it up next to your magnesium. I'm going to take my striker and flint and watch what happens. Now the magnesium lights as it does. Get my wood shavings in here. It will ignite. And what you see right here is the birth of a campfire. So, for now, I hope to see you out on the trail, my friends. This is Don Pedro saying, Adios.